I am Joachim Otte. I am from FAO headquarters in Rome. I work in the Animal Health and Production Division. I'm here in uh, Addis at the Ilri campus at the consultation on the Mega Program 3.7, which is about increasing productivity of fish and livestock for poor people and from poor people. And one of the issues we are being discussing very intensely are, is the concept of value chains or as I prefer value webs because the concept of value chain in my mind is very much something of uh, very let's say highly developed countries with very specialized chains while in developing countries what I see more is let's say a main product which then delivers a large number of byproducts so an example I can think of is, for example, is duck meat in Vietnam, where the final product, the main product, we see as consumers may be the duck meat. But along the chain we have the duck producer, and the duck producer needs to start production so-called day-old ducks, so we have the duck breeders. Now the duck breeder has to buy an incubator because the ducks themselves don't incubate the eggs. So you have suppliers of incubators. Once hatched, the ducklings come into a little baskets, so you have people who produce the baskets. When the ducks, the ducklings are hatched, you have the leftover eggs, and they are an input into an eggshell industry of artisanal, let's say, little household goods. And on the other hand, not all ducklings hatch properly, so you have so-called incubated eggs with little dead duck embryos, which also go to the market. Then you have the duck producer who produces the duck, but the duck also provides services in terms of pest control and fertilization of fields. And at the same time, he may need transportation services and simple feed supplies. So there you have various value chains branching into this duck production chain. At the slaughterhouse level, you have, of course, the duck. But then there are the feathers, which go into a feather industry. These feathers are exported, many of them to China, where they are used to make pillows and clothing for cold weather. You have duck offal, which goes into the feed industry for fish. Then you have the final, let's say, the duck meat, which needs to be packaged. So all this for me is more than just a chain. It is maybe a central chain which has, however, a lot of branches into the chain and out of the chain. Hence the web notion, right? And that is exactly why I see it more as, as a web, because if we go to the other, let's say, linked chains, they too will be similar, that it's not a simple chain, but it is again branching out. And that is actually, you know, the beauty of an economy, that everything is somehow connected to many other things.